It may take several years, but eventually a company will reach this milestone. NVIDIA's stock is rising once again. The leader in artificial intelligence chips reached a new all-time high on Thursday. This surge was driven by a strong third-quarter earnings report from its close partner, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing. There is also excitement surrounding NVIDIA's new Blackwell platform, which is reportedly sold out for the next year. NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, recently mentioned that demand for the new chips is insane. Taiwan Semiconductor also helped ease concerns about an AI bubble. CEO CC Wei stated that his company collaborates with nearly every AI innovator. He commented on AI saying, the demand is real, and I believe this is just the beginning of this demand. He also predicted, this demand will continue for many years. So far, Nvidia has captured most of the rewards in the AI race, with its stock gaining nearly tenfold since the beginning of 2023, shortly after the launch of ChatGPT. During this time, Nvidia has added approximately $3 trillion to its market capitalization, making it the second most valuable company in the world, right behind Apple. As of October 18th, Nvidia's market cap was $3.39 trillion, just below Apple's $3.57 trillion. Microsoft is also close behind at $3.11 trillion. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Can any company get to a $10 trillion market cap? Predicting which company will be the first to reach a valuation of $10 trillion might seem far-fetched, but it's more achievable than it appears. Apple made history in August 2018 by becoming the first U.S. company to reach a valuation of $1 trillion, a milestone that once seemed impossible. Remarkably, it only took Apple five more years to reach $3 trillion, making it the first company to surpass that milestone as well. Given that Apple was able to achieve a valuation of $1 trillion and then triple it within just five years, it may not be too difficult for NVIDIA or another similar company to triple its valuation within the next five to ten years, ultimately reaching a market capitalization of $10 trillion. The contestants in the $10 trillion race, in addition to the three companies with market capitalizations of $3 trillion, there are five more stocks that have market caps of $1 trillion or greater. These include Alphabet, Amazon, Meta Platforms, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, and Berkshire Hathaway. For any of these companies to reach a valuation of $10 trillion, they must demonstrate strong growth in both revenue and profit. They will also need to expand their addressable markets as part of their strategy. Berkshire Hathaway, which is the only non-technology company on this list, seems less likely to achieve this goal. This is because it primarily operates in mature industries that tend to grow at a rate similar to the overall economy. The other companies mentioned have higher growth rates, but those already valued above $3 trillion are significantly closer to the $10 trillion target than those with valuations around $2 trillion or lower. Why NVIDIA is the favorite? Out of Apple, Microsoft, and NVIDIA, NVIDIA is by far the fastest growing. The company has reported five straight quarters of triple-digit revenue growth, and while that streak is expected to end in the third quarter, analysts still expect NVIDIA's blistering revenue growth to continue. The consensus calls for NVIDIA to report 82% revenue growth in the third quarter and 43% in 2025 to reach $182 billion. In addition to outgrowing its big tech peers, NVIDIA also seems better prepared to capitalize on the next big innovation in technology, much as it has with generative AI and cryptocurrency before that. NVIDIA figures to be a winner from emerging technologies like autonomous vehicles and robotics as it's established a significant competitive advantage in AI GPUs, which will be necessary to power those technologies. Investors should also be mindful that the innovation that leads to the first $10 trillion company may not even be visible now. The growth possibilities at Apple and Microsoft 
seem more constrained. Both companies dominate their respective subsectors, Apple with consumer electronics and Microsoft with enterprise software. But those categories offer less growth. Smartphones are already a mature market. Apple can coax its customers to spend more on iPhones and sell more services and accessory devices like AirPods and Apple Watches. But people generally only need one phone each. Microsoft's business is more connected to enterprise tech spending, but again, the upside potential is not as large as NVIDIA's. It's rare for a company to, say, double its software spend in a year. Will NVIDIA hit $10 trillion? Whether NVIDIA can reach a $10 trillion valuation will depend on its ability to manage competition, take advantage of the AI boom, and maintain or even increase its large profit margins. Achieving this won't be easy, but it is possible, especially over a period of five to 10 years. Apple's growth from a $1 trillion valuation in 2018 to $3.5 trillion today serves as a reminder that there is no strict upper limit on stock market valuations. Even though Nvidia has already provided significant gains for investors, there is still more potential for the stock to rise. A $4 trillion market cap is now within reach for Nvidia, and over a longer time frame, a $10 trillion valuation is achievable. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.